How do you make YouTube videos searchable so you get rankings like this, this, and this? The last ranking is a playlist. Stay tuned throughout the video to discover how to make your YouTube videos searchable so you can get more views, comments, and subscribers. Stop wasting time on videos that don't get discovered. Hi, my name is Herman Trost. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Here are seven tips to make your YouTube videos searchable. Number one, tap into the mind of your audience. Ideally, you want to create videos that your audience wants to watch by offering solutions to their problems. How do you do that? Fortunately, you don't have to guess because YouTube gives us suggestions using the YouTube search bar. For example, if I enter how to translate YouTube videos on the YouTube search bar, I get a bunch of suggestions from YouTube. These are search phrases that people are entering into the YouTube search bar to find solutions to their problems. If you install the Chrome extension Keywords Everywhere, it'll give you the search volume and the cost per click. For example, how to translate YouTube videos gets 210 searches per month and a cost per click of 0.79 cents. This is how much advertisers are willing to pay for that keyword phrase. If you have a small channel, it'll be hard to compete with a popular keyword phrase like how to translate YouTube videos. Instead, you want to find less competitive keyword phrases that are easy to rank for. How do you do that? Number two, find less competitive keyword phrases. As you can see, the competition for ranking the keyword phrase how to translate YouTube videos is very fierce. The first video has got 119,000 views. The second, 219,000 views. The third, 61,000 views. My video, 105,000 views. So it's best to find long tail keyword phrases that are less competitive. One way to do this is to put letters after the main keyword phrase. For example, if I put A after how to translate YouTube videos, I get how to translate YouTube videos to Arabic, how to translate YouTube videos to another language, how to translate YouTube videos on Android. These phrases would be easy to rank for. Is there an easier and faster way to find low competition keyword phrases? Number three, use a TubeBuddy keyword research tool to quickly and easily find keyword phrases to rank for. So if I click on the TubeBuddy icon, click on Keyword Explorer, enter my keyword phrase how to translate YouTube videos, click Explore, I can quickly see that I got a poor score for that keyword phrase, so it's no use creating a video for that keyword phrase. Instead, I can choose one of the related searches. So let's choose how to translate YouTube videos on Android. It says the unweighted score is very good, 75 out of 100. The unweighted score refers to how good this keyword is to target based on search volume and competition. The weighted score is also very good, 71 out of 100. This refers to how good this keyword is to target for your specific channel based on search volume, competition, relevancy, and how you compare to others currently ranking in search. A pro license is required for this, but if you use the promo code HermansBuddy at checkout, you'll get 20% off. I'll put a link to TubeBuddy in the description below this video. It's well worth it because it's going to save you a lot of time doing keyword research for YouTube videos. If I click the results tab, then it shows me the competition. However, I don't see any competing video titles that say how to translate YouTube videos to English on Android. So this would be a great video to create to get first page rankings on YouTube. Oh, now I understand. If I click on the historical tab, I can see that the keyword phrase how to translate YouTube videos is still very popular. Is there a fast way to see the common questions that people are typing into the search engines? Number four, answer the public. Here are the questions I get when I enter how to translate YouTube videos in the search box. As you can see, I've got hundreds of suggestions. If I scroll down further, it gives me 140 alphabeticals. And if you have the Keywords Everywhere extension installed, you'll see the search volume and the cost per click for that particular keyword phrase. Now that you've finished your keyword research, you've got to create an engaging video. Number five, create an engaging video. The most crucial part of creating an engaging video is to have a great hook. If you can grab the attention of your viewers in the first 30 to 60 seconds, there's a greater possibility they'll watch the rest of the video. Some ideas to create a great hook is to ask a question or to tease them at the beginning of the video about what's coming up next. For example, at the beginning of this video, I showed screenshots for videos that were getting top rankings in YouTube search. You can do the same or try something different. The most important factor is to keep people engaged throughout your video. Ideally, aim for 50% audience retention rate. This means 50% of the people watching a video watch it all the way through. Number six, optimize your videos correctly. The two most important factors for optimization are your thumbnails and titles. An attractive thumbnail that stands out in the search engines is more likely to get clicked on. Here are some important things to include in your thumbnail. Use bright colors. Include bold text. Just use a few words, but don't repeat the title. Add your face and include an expression. Try to tell a story so your viewers are curious to check out your video. Check that your thumbnail still looks good at a small size 
because most people watching YouTube videos are on their phones. How do you write a good title? Place the keyword phrase that you researched at the beginning of your title. Add something at the end of your title that motivates viewers to click on your thumbnail. For example, for this video, how to stop unrelated videos on YouTube in bed, I added and only show your own related videos. The phrase I added to the title will motivate viewers to click on the thumbnail. Here's another one. How to find and use Creative Commons videos on YouTube. I added a phrase to motivate viewers without copyright claims. That's a great idea. I think I'll try that next time. For your description, summarize the content of your video in the first three lines. Make sure you weave your keyword phrase in that first paragraph. When it comes to tags, make sure they're relevant to the video content. For example, put your main keyword phrase as the first tag, followed by related keyword phrases. How do you track the ranking of your videos so you can see how well they're doing? The main way is to go incognito. On your Chrome browser, click File, New Incognito Window, Enter YouTube, Enter your search term, Click search. Now you'll see your videos ranked, not based upon your personal browsing behavior. If you have the two-bit extension installed, you'll be able to see the rankings for multiple keyword phrases in your tags. Number seven, track your results. The purpose of tracking your results is to see what you're doing right. If your videos get ranked on the first page of the YouTube search results, they'll get a lot of views and subscribers. Therefore, you want to go to YouTube Analytics and see which videos are performing the best. Also, check which videos are getting the most real-time activity. This means these top videos are getting the most views day after day. If you discover videos that are getting a lot of views and subscribers, create more of those types of videos. This is because they are performing well, so you want to create similar videos from similar topics. If you want to check the performance for an individual video, go to YouTube Analytics and check on the Reach tab. You'll see the traffic source types, the click-through rate, and the average view duration. Always try to improve the click-through rate and the average view duration for every video you upload. If you do this, your channel will grow consistently. Keep in mind that 90% of your traffic comes from non-subscribers, so make sure you tap into the mind of your audience, as I mentioned in the first point. Let me ask you a question. What is the top traffic source for the videos on your YouTube channel? Post your answer in the comments below. I'd love to read them, and I'm sure others would too. Did you know that the top traffic source for most channels is suggested videos? These are the videos that appear on the right side of the watch page, or the ones that come up next after a video stop playing. Watch the next video to discover how to get your videos suggested and recommended by YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.